right? So moving from here, we'll be uh, talking about the COSI procedure. The COSI procedure. Now, the COSI procedure is also what is known as a hepatic portoenterostomy, all right? So it's actually, actually a surgical procedure. And this surgical procedure is done to reconstruct the bowel ducts. That's after like bowel duct strictures, also known as what bowel duct atresia. All right. So you are doing this type of surgery to reconstruct, reconstruct the bowel duct, right? So most of the times what you use is a small intestine, all right? So we'll get to talk about the COSI procedure, the purpose, the indications, the surgical techniques, the post-operative care, and every other thing that is involved. So we are saying the COSI procedure is also known as what is known as what? Hepatic portoenterostomy is a surgical intervention when patients have biliary atresia. But here you get to see that what other things too, all right? But it's mostly used when there's biliary atresia, okay? And biliary atresia is a rare liver disorder which is characterized by blockage or absence of the bowel duct. What are you doing this for? What is the purpose? You are doing this to restore the bowel flow from the liver to the intestine back. You are doing this to prevent liver damage and liver cirrhosis. You are doing this to improve nutritional absorption because bowel is supposed to be there for food to be absorbed adequately. You get so um, indications if you are having biliary atresia, like if the patient is having biliary atresia, you might want to do this surgery. If there's neonatal hepatitis, you might want to do this surgery. There's congenital bowel duct and anomalies, right? Just like the gold standard of repairing it. So you see it. There's a problem with the bowel duct. So you might just want to what? Connect a part of the intestine directly to the liver so that bowel can flow out of the liver. Do you understand? Because the purpose of bowel duct here is just to transport bowel from the liver to the intestine. So why not just bring the intestines directly? You get it. So you also cut this part of the stomach that joins with the intestine, that's a duodenum. Or oh, yeah, this should be at the level of jejunum, right? So you now link it down, okay? Then you connect this one up. That's what is known as a COSI procedure, all right? So the surgical technique would be laparotomy, which is abdominal incision. Could be dissection of the liver helium. The identification and division of bile ducts remnants. The creation of a rule and why hepatojejunostomy, where you are hepaticojejunostomy, where you are actually joining what? The jejunum to the liver, all right? So that's liver and intestine anastomosis. And the part of intestine that you are joining is actually the jejunum, all right? So you now what? After you create the rule and why what? Hepaticojejunostomy, you now anastomose. Post operative care, you monitor for complication, nutritional support antibiotics and antiviral medication right so uh, complications support antibiotics antiviral medications nutritional support right then regularly follow the pressing up and always be doing liver function test okay so outcomes uh, this is just a success by right? complications this could lead to what infections lead to inflammations lead to hemorrhage right so infections like what cholangitis sepsis then bleeding intestinal obstruction liver cirrhosis portal hypertension malnutrition all of that could be there right so that's e for this cosi procedure also known as what um, hepatic portal enterostomy